This is a, near the end of the war, and we are in Germany, and our unit was on one side of the river, and the Germans were on the other side. I'm standing at the top of the, uh, of the river bank, and uh, with, with, the, with my guy, and they start shooting mortar shells onto us. Now this is uh, like March or April of 45, before the end of the war. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm out in the open. I'm a sergeant. Uh, we didn't have an, an officer with us. They all got killed. No. And, uh, and there I am at the top of the hill looking at the Germans on the other side of the river. And very soon the mortar shells, uh, I, I don't know, start coming in. And I'm on the hill. And, and I remember, and I said, this is it, I've had it. Yeah. The, the shell, I'm out in the open, the shells are coming in, there's no escape, I can't get under a tree, I can't get into, Terrible. you know, yeah. this is it. When the shells start coming in, they don't explode. Then were what? they misbehaving they or are they not supposed explode. to? What? Are they not supposed to explode? They're supposed to explode. So they were misbehaving. They were, something well, was wrong with them. They were duds. Oh my gosh. Were you lucky? I mean, this was unbelievable that this group of, of mortar shells oh. did not explode. One landed like like uh, we're the porch and I said uh, you know I'm, if I'm lucky I'll get wounded and if I'm not lucky that's you it won't, you won't be here anymore it turns out they were all duds that night that day unbelievable and are you lucky so we talked about it afterward that they have been made by maybe by prisoners who sabotaged it. Oh yeah. That that was possible. We don't know. Yeah. Oh, you don't know. Okay. But yeah. but I do know that I, you know, when a shell land ten yards, twenty yards from you, it it, it, it explodes. It, so I hear the plop and it didn't explode. So, I'm here to tell the story. <laughs> but, uh, 